I don't have a TV. So in 2016, I borrowed a friend's Sirius XM radio to listen to some of Donald Trump's campaign rallies. I remember how struck I was when I heard that old Rolling Stones song playing at the end. You can't always get what you want. I thought, that's a strange thing to be playing to a crowd after you just made them a bunch of promises. But then it hit me. Donald Trump is a real estate tycoon, not a politician. To a real estate guy, there are two numbers. If he's selling, he has the highball number he's asking for and the number he's actually willing to take. If he's buying, he has his lowball number and the number that he's willing to pay. In real estate, everybody knows this. If you have a house to sell and you must get 300,000, you don't list it at 300,000, you list it at 350,000 and you expect to be talked down. Maybe you'll get lucky and get the whole thing, but probably not, and that's fine. If you get offered 250K and after negotiating, you come down to 300K, you're golden, you're happy. And the buyer is happy too. They knew you wouldn't get down to 250,000. They were lowballing you and you were highballing them. What Donald Trump wants is to seal the border against illegal immigration. One night he threw out the idea of the wall and the crowd went wild. So being a showman, he went with it. Good imagery. Everybody sees an impenetrable barrier in their mind's eye. It's symbolic of a sealed border, which is what we really need and what Trump intends to get for us. If he can get that by moving the Democrats toward better enforcement, E-Verify, and an end to chain migration, it's a win. And if he has to give up the physical wall to get that stuff, it's still a win. Because it was never about a wall. The wall was just the highball number. The sealed border was always the real bottom line. Same thing with Obamacare and tariffs. He said he'd repeal Obamacare. That was him throwing out a highball figure. He said he'd put tariffs on goods made overseas. Again, a highball. Instead, he got a huge tax reform that did away with the ACA's individual mandate and got companies to voluntarily invest money here and bring offshore money home. What he really wanted was more jobs and investment in the states and for us to be able to opt out of Obamacare. Done and done. So why make those promises at those rallies? Easy, because the Democrats were listening and Trump needed to get the highball figure into their heads so when he got into dealing and they talked him down, they'd think they were getting the win. You see, for all of his faults, Donald Trump respects his voters. He knows that we're the grown-ups. He knows that we live in the real world and that we expect to always get a little less than what we might want. And that's why he played that old song, because... Well, you can't always get what you want But if you try sometimes, you'll find You get what you need Oh, yeah Well, I went I was wearing my brand new vagina hat Say we're gonna vent our frustrations But we got no idea who we're angry at Oh yeah Thanks for watching. Please consider becoming a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic. Look for the link in the description and give what you can.